tips is how to use the application Disk Utility. Not many people know of this application, but it is really useful. It is located in the Utilities folder, then Disk Utility. Let it load. So, Disk Utility lets you do many things with your external disks. So, when I plug in my flash drive, which I'm doing now, it'll come up in this utility. Right here. So, in the main section, which is what describes the disk, you can repair it in case something goes wrong, completely reformat it, like, I can change the name to Kingston, which is what it is now, and click Erase, but I'll show you that later. You can make sections of it. You can make up to 16 partitions. Each partition will be sort of, sort of like a different disk. Of course, it reduces the size of each partition. With one partition, it's one disk. You can create more. Remember this though, never mess with the partitions of the main disk. I have tried that and it messed up bad. Anyways, you could, RAID Utility is not supported on my Mac, so I am not sure what this one does. Restore basically makes, uh, fixes it, sort of. It re-mounts the um, drive. On the Kingston tab right here, you can erase it as well, restore it, but you cannot partition it. Partitioning can only be done on this one. When you partition it in, in the partition tab, if you drag a file, if you have a file onto here, it'll show up how much is used on this. So not much is used, so it's not going to show up until you put a bunch of files. So let me put a big one. Well, you get the point. It'll show up because on iDisk, which is my main disk here, it shows up how much I've used. So anyways, let me show you how you erase it. You, go, you can go on either one. I prefer using this one because that way it doesn't affect any partition and simply click erase it does not it is only deleted it on the partition erase and it will completely reset it now let me show you how to partition so you go partition, current layout, and you change the layout. I'm going to make four partitions on this. Each partition is 1.1 1 .1 gigabytes. And then you can rename this. So I'm going to say work. School. Website and videos and then simply click apply if you want to change the size like school is not going to take up much so I'm going to make it smaller but my website isn't going to take up, take up much either but my videos and work will take up a lot so then I simply click apply it'll do this and partition On a Mac, you'll have four separate disks, but it'll only be this. Now, if I erase it on this, and click Erase, it will erase all the partitions. That is important to remember.
and it's back to normal. Just one. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. You can use re rewritable CDs. Also, if you're um, one way partitioning, and this comes in handy, is when you you are if you're using Time Machine, you can make you can o you can say only one part of your disk is in Time Machine. What I've done with my Time Machine is I've created Mac and other. My Mac owns a time machine, others, other. And yeah, that's the basics of disk utility. Verifying a disk, make sure it's not broken, which can happen sometimes with your uh, main disk. Burn, well, you know what it means. Mount basically puts it on the um, hard drive so you can access it that way. Eject, removes it. I'm not sure what, journal what journaling is, and well, it creates a new disk image. Don't ask. And yeah, that yeah, that's how you use disk utility.